हे ऑल वेलकम टू होम स्कूल एंड आई एम विथ क्लास इलेवन केमिस्ट्री चैप्टर्स स्टार्टेड विथ फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री वेर आई हैव ऑलरेडी फिनिश्ड इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट वी स्टडीड अबाउट द मैटर क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ मैटर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मैटर राइट एंड वेरियस फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज दैट वी यूज इन केमिस्ट्री टू डिस्क्राइब मैटर राइट a uh, few physical quantities and their units are very very important to remember and now coming to the next concept that is scientific notation which is a very very important concept because i told you some of the chemistry chapters which come under a branch of chemistry called physical chemistry will have numericals okay even for the competitive examinations so they will ask numericals from these physical chemistry chapters say uh, while doing a numerical you must know how to convert the digits into scientific notation say let me tell you what is this scientific notation and why do we use this scientific notation okay say for example chemistry is all about small very very small numbers or very very big numbers okay say for example when oxygen gas combining with hydrogen gas you will get water isn't it say i will be telling you uh, when hydrogen gas combines with oxygen gas you know you will get something like water that is h2o okay so how do i balance this equation balance this equation so when i put 2 here uh, i have to put 2 on the hydrogen of reactant isn't it see i can explain this reaction in one particular format i would be telling you 2 moles of 2 moles of hydrogen gas combines with combines with one mole of oxygen gas okay to give two moles of water now you would be wondering what is this moles okay say normally speaking what we can understand from the reaction is two molecules of hydrogen combines with one molecule of oxygen to give two molecules of water say we know how to tell a reaction in the form of molecules so looking at the equation for your level uh, you would be telling that two molecules of hydrogen reacts with one molecule of oxygen to give two molecules of water okay no doubt reaction happens in that way only actually speaking crores of hydrogen molecules would react with crores of oxygen molecules to give crores of water molecules but they react in 2 is to 1 ratio okay they react in 2 is to 1 ratio so in a simple way we would tell two molecules of hydrogen reacts with one molecule of oxygen but actually speaking crores of hydrogen should be there and crores of oxygen molecules should be there in whatever amount of gas that you take okay 10 ml or 20 ml or whatever okay and so many molecules would react right so that is the reason instead of molecule we say two moles of hydrogen gas combines with one mole of oxygen gas to give two moles of water okay so what do you mean by this mole here mole is just a number guys say so just like dozen uh, what do you mean by a dozen dozen in the sense 12 if i say dozen uh, bananas what do you mean by that 12 bananas dozen apples in the sense 12 apples isn't it say like dozen you have a mole okay so mole is just a number just a number so which number is called as a mole you know what do you mean by mole is 6 0 2 2 and when you put 20 zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 you know this much big number is called as a mole just like 12 in the sense dozen dozen means 12 no like that mole mole means this much big number so if i say one mole of apples means it is these many apples 
so can you uh, give a particular uh, name for this number right how many crores it is can you be able to tell me how many crores it is okay see this much big number is your mole so if one mole of apples is these many moles of apples one mole of pens these many number of pens it is these many number of pens so that's what we mean by moles so atoms are very small crores of atoms would react with crores of another atom to form crores of molecules okay say it's all because the atom is so small and in many numbers it is reacting so we are using this much big number okay uh, when we come to the atoms see if you have to write this much big number it takes lot of space in a book yes or no and it's very much inconvenient to write such big numbers okay chemistry is all about dealing with this much big big numbers okay and one more example i'll tell you okay see uh, i have measured size of size of hydrogen atom okay size of hydrogen atom you know what is the answer i got for size of hydrogen atom 0.0001234567891011385 you know so this much is the answer i got when i measured uh, size of hydrogen atom is this much meter i got okay you you see how much big number it is i mean it's a very small number 0.000 ten zeros after that 385 you know such a smallest number but to write that it's very much inconvenient right with lots of zeros right so chemistry is all about dealing such big numbers actually to write them it is very much inconvenient uh, it's very much uncomfortable right so that is the reason we use a shortcut way of representing a number okay so this is short cut way of representing representing a big number big number in a simple form in a simple form is called scientific notation okay so what is that a uh, simple way of representing these big numbers we represent these numbers in the form of n into 10 to the power of n way okay say in this format we will represent such big numbers okay in what format n into 10 to the power of n okay so whereas small n is exponent it is exponent okay whose value varies uh, from minus to plus it can have minus value as well as plus value okay n is a exponent can have can have minus value or plus value clear and what about this big n big n can have a numbers in between 1.002 9.999 like n can be any number between 1 and 9 majorly clear say such big numbers if you want to uh, write them in a simple form we use a scientific notation scientific notation is always in the format n into 10 to the power of n whereas n is a exponent it can be a negative value or a positive value right and whereas big n is nothing but it's a, a digit which can exist between 1 and 9 clear so this is a simple idea on scientific notation right and now let us try to write this number in scientific notation form so this is all about your scientific notation so how do you write this mole mole in the sense 6022 and 20 zeros this much big number is called as a mole okay so any chemical reaction we do it in the form of moles okay all that you will understand little later very very clearly and now just concentrate mole is just a number which number it is it is this big number now if i want to write the same number in a simple form that is in the format of uh, n into 10 to the power of n format how do i write so what i will do is 
said this much big number here can i write this number dot zero right so i can introduce a decimal point here with zero this is how i can write the number and now this decimal point you know i will shift this decimal point i will shift you know towards the right side and i will keep the decimal point here i'm bringing the decimal point from here to here okay so when i bring the decimal point from here to here what can i write my answer as i can write it as 6.022 into right i told you what is your capital n value it is 6.0 i told you your capital n value can be between 1.00 to 9.99 so 6.022 into 10 to the power what is the exponent you will write here uh, how many digits you have shifted 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, right? So, I'll be writing 10 to the power of 23, okay? And I told you, this is the value of small n. And I told you, small n can be a positive value and negative value. Here, actually, it is plus 23, okay? Whenever you shift decimal point towards your left side, right so if you stand like this this is your left and this is your right so when you shift a decimal point towards the left then you will write the exponent as positive value okay so this is the scientific notation uh, when you write this big number in the simplest form so what do you mean by one mole it is 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23 particles is what we call one mole Okay, so now how do you write this number into scientific notation? Say this number. Say now I will shift this decimal point towards here after 3. See, this is the first digit, right? After so many zeros, this is the first digit. So after 3, I will put the decimal point. Decimal point previously it was here. This one I am shifting to here. So how I can write this? 3.85 into 10 to the power of how many digits after I have shifted the decimal point? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right? So I can write 10 to the power of minus 12 meter. Okay? See, you have got a exponent as a negative value here. So when do you write it as a negative value? Whenever you shift your decimal point towards right side. Okay. So here you are shifting your decimal point towards right side. So whenever you shift a decimal point towards right, you will write the exponent as a negative value. Okay. So this point is very, very important. If decimal point, if decimal point is shifted as shifted towards towards left then n is positive right so your exponent value you will write it as a positive value okay look at the mole case you shifted your decimal point towards left okay so how many digits uh, before you have shifted how many digits left side you have shifted 23 so that's why 10 to the power of 23 it is plus 23 because you shifted towards the left side similarly if decimal point is shifted towards right side then your exponent value will be negative okay you can see in the second number what you have done you shifted this decimal point towards your right side i mean from here you have brought it and kept here after three so how many digits after you have kept it's 12 digits so minus 12 we have written right so this is how we have to convert the bigger numbers into simpler form that's what we mean by scientific notation okay and let us do some workout i'll give you certain examples and let us try to convert them into scientific notation first see here are few numbers let us convert them into simple form that is in scientific form 
Okay, look at the first number. So how can you write this in a simple form? You see, here is the first digit. After this, all these are zero. So except zero, which is the digit here, four. So after four, you have to keep the decimal point. Previously, the decimal point is here. So this decimal point you are bringing and keeping after four. So how can you write the number? It is 4.8 into, you will write it in the form of, uh, exponent form right 4.8 into 10 to the power of uh, how much is the number you will write about it it is one how many digits after you are keeping the decimal point you are keeping after four in the sense how many digits you are moving one two three four five so you will write it as five so can you tell me whether it is plus five or minus five so what did i tell you if you are moving your decimal point towards your right side then you will indicate with negative exponent it will be negative exponent so when you are moving your decimal point towards the left then you will indicate with the positive exponent so this you should never ever forget so you moved your decimal point towards right side if you are moving towards right side you know you should indicate it as minus 5. So, if you convert this number into simple form, you can write it as 4.8 into 10 power minus 5. Okay. Now, coming to this number. So, this number is a very big number, right? 2, 3, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, now, uh, this number, if you want to write it in a simple form, how do you write? Say, so which is the first digit? 2. So, here you have to keep the decimal point. Previously, if nothing is there, then it's nothing but 0, 0.0, right? So, this decimal point, you are shifting where? You are shifting here after 2. So, you will write this number as 2.34 into 10 power. How many digits you have moved? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So, 10 power 6. Now, you have to decide whether you have to keep positive or negative sign. Say you have shifted your decimal point towards left side. That means you should keep the exponent as positive. So you will be writing it as 2.34 into 10 power plus 6. Okay. So next one, this one, 8008. So how do you write it in scientific notation format? This number I can write this way, right? Uh, now it's like the decimal point is here and this point I am shifting here. So I can write it as 8.008 into 10 power. How many digits you moved? 1, 2, 3. Uh, so 10 power 3. So plus or minus you moved towards your left side. So it will be plus value. Okay. So similarly, how do you write uh, this in a simple form? I can write it as 5.0 into 10 power you know, I, I, I kept a decimal point. Previously, it was here. This one, I kept uh, uh, like, you know, here, right? So, how many digits you moved? 2. So, 10 power 2. Plus or minus, you moved your decimal point towards left side. So, it is positive, right? And coming to this number, how do you write it as? So, if this number is actually, it's, I can, I can write it as this much, 0. Now, this decimal point, where am I moving? I am moving it. I am keeping it after 6. So, I can write this number as 6.0 into 10 power. How many digits you move? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? So, 10 power 8. Positive or negative? It is positive because you moved your decimal point towards your left. Okay? So, just keep it in a mind. If you are moving a decimal point towards left, you know, Keep the exponent value as positive. If you are moving your decimal point towards your right side, then the, your exponent value is minus. Okay. So, this is how you can convert a bigger numbers into scientific notation, which is nothing but a simple form of expressing some bigger numbers. Okay. And now, uh, let us learn how to do multiplication uh, for this scientific notation. Uh, you know, division as well as addition and subtraction. Let us see how to operate these mathematical operations when the numbers are in scientific notation format. Guys, first let us understand how to do multiplication of numbers in scientific notation. 
say for example you have a number something like this 2 into 10 to the power of 5 okay into 3 into 10 to the power of 6 so how do you multiply this it's very simple first you multiply 2 into 3 okay then then what you have to do you should do 10 to the power of 5 into 10 to the power of 6 this is how you write okay separate the digit multiply the digit first 2 into 3 then separate uh, the exponents like 10 to the power of 5 into 10 to the power of 6 this way you write after that we know this 2 3s are 6 okay so 6 into it will be 10 to the power of 5 plus 6 right so you all know in the algebra there is a formula a to the power of m into a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n you will do isn't it so same formula 10 to the power of 5 into 10 to the power of 6 so you will be writing it as 10 to the power of 5 plus 6 you should add 5 and 6 okay so what is your answer 6 into 10 to the power of 11 6 plus 5 is 11 so your answer is 6 into 10 to the power of 11 okay so this is how you have to do the multiplication okay so now let us take one more example 5.6 into 10 to the power of 5 into 6.9 into 10 to the power of 3 so how do you multiply this this number so how do you do first let me write 5.6 into 6.9 together right after that separate these uh, exponents 10 to the power of 5 into 10 to the power of 3 so how much is 5.6 into 6.9 it will be 38.64 if you multiply 5.6 into 6.9 you would be getting 38.64 into 10 to the power of how much 5 plus 3 you have to do here so it will be 8 okay and again you can simplify this say so this decimal point if you bring after 3 okay if you shift this decimal point here so how can you write the same thing I can write it as 3.8 into 10 to the power of 3.8 I'm writing so how many digits you have shifted one digit and you shift it towards the left side right so when you shift it towards your left side and one digit i shifted so 10 to the power of 1 so will you keep this one positive or negative you shifted towards your left side so it has to be positive so 10 to the power of 1 into this is there 10 to the power of 8 so you would be writing it as 3.8 into 10 to the power of 1 plus 8 is 9 so your answer is 3.8 into 10 to the power 9. Okay. So this is how you have to do multiplication when the numbers are in scientific notation. Okay. And now coming to division. Let us do division when numbers are in scientific notation. Okay. Say for example you have 10 into... Uh, you know 10 to the power of minus 6 divided by 2 into 10 to the power of plus 5 so how do you do first you divide this with this so how much do you get 1s are 5s are right so 5 into how do you write this uh, do you remember in a algebra you have a formula a to the power of m by a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of m minus n. Isn't it? Okay. Say similarly, uh, 2 ones are 2 fives are. So, 5 into, you will be writing it as 10 to the power of minus 6 minus, uh, you know, 5. Right? So, your answer 5 into 10 to the power of minus uh, 11 right so this is your answer so when it is in a division you know this minus this number you have to do right just you are applying your algebraic formula that's it
Hmm? So this is how you have to divide when the numbers are in scientific notation and this is how you have to multiply when the numbers are in scientific notation. And now we will discuss about addition and subtraction with numbers in scientific notation. See guys, here is an example for addition when the numbers are in scientific notation. See, you have to add 6.1 into 10 power 4 plus 2.2 into 10 power 3, right? Say here, one condition is uh, keep the exponents in same number. If here is 10 to the power of 4, here also you should keep it as 10 to the power of 4. Okay. Or uh, here 10 to the power of 3 is there or you convert this 10 to the power of 4 into 10 to the power of 3. Okay. Anything you can do. You can convert uh, 10 to the power of 4 as 10 to the power of 3 or 10 to the power of 3 as 10 to the power of 4. So, but the thing is both exponents have to be in same number. Okay, so what I will do is uh, I will convert this 10 to the power of 3 type into 10 to the power of 4 category. Okay, so how do I do that? Uh, let me keep this number as it is 6.1 into 10 power 4. So I am converting this number 2.2 into 10 to the power of 3. I am converting this exponent in the form of 10 to the power of 4. So how do I do that? If I shift this decimal point here. So how can I write the number? I can write it as 0 0.22 into 10 to the power of 4. Isn't it? Say uh, when I write it as 0 0.22, how I can write? Say one unit I have moved towards the left side. So it will be 10 to the power of 1 into 10 to the power of 3 is there. So I can write it as 0 0.22 into uh, 3 plus 1, 4, 10 to the power of 4. Like that, I converted this number in the format of 10 to the power of 4. So this is very, very important, guys. When you are adding and subtracting two numbers, see that the exponents must be there in same number. If not same number, convert any one and make it equal. Okay, fine. And now rest of the thing is same. So you will be doing... 6.1 plus 0.22. Okay. And now 10 to the power of 4 is a common that you will be taking it as outside. So 10 to the power of 4, 10 to the power of 4, I am taking it as a common. Now just 6.1 plus 0.22 is how much? It will be 6.32 into 10 to the power of 4 is your answer. That's it. Right. So um, main thing is see that the exponent are in same number. If not in same number, at least bring anyone to become equal to the, uh, the other number, other exponent. Okay. So this is one example. And now we will see uh, subtraction. Subtraction of number. So how do you do? Okay. Let me take it as. Uh, 4 into 10 to the power of minus 2 uh, subtract with uh, uh, you know 2 into 10 to the power of minus 3. So what will I do? You see the exponent here is 10 to the power of minus 2. Here the exponent is 10 to the power of minus 3. So make it equal. First make the exponent become equal. So how do you make the exponent become equal? Okay, so let me write this number as 0 0.2. So when initially 2.0 it is. So this decimal when I bring it here, it will be 0 0.2. Uh, one digit left side I have uh, done. So it is 10 to the power of 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3. So this one would be 0 0.2 into 10 to the power of 1 plus minus 3. That would be 10 to the power of minus 2. Isn't it? So now I am writing it as 4 into 4 into 10 to the power of minus 2. Subtract with 0 0.2 into 10 to the power of minus 2. Right? So what you have to do? 4 minus 0 0.2 and 10 to the power of minus 2, I'm taking it as a common outside. So 4 minus 0 0.2 is, it will be 3.8 into 10 to the power of minus 2 is your answer. 
okay so this is how you have to do addition and subtraction when the numbers are in scientific notation see that the exponent must be there in a same number if not in a same number convert any one and make the exponent same number and that exponent thing take it as a common and remaining digits you do addition or subtraction whatever they ask you clear and uh, this is all about scientific notation so you must be careful with how you convert the digits into scientific notation and also uh, like how to do multiplication division subtraction and addition when the numbers are in scientific notation clear so with this i am completing this video and in my next video i will come up with a topic called significant figures which is also very very important from this chapter clear thank you so much and do subscribe our channel to learn the concepts in a easiest way and in a detailed way